Okay, so we've uh, taken the pistol apart to the uh, field stripping point. Um, from now, I'm uh, uh, going to take it further and uh, we'll have a look at what the internal parts look like on this uh, Narenko. I'll just take off the two uh, hand grip screws. Take out the magazine release here. Don't know if you can see it. There's just a little screw that uh, rides in a race, and I need to push slightly so I can rotate it all the way out. And now she'll pop right out. Punch this mainspring housing out here. spring down there, or the hammer down, so I think that relieved a little bit of the tension on it. There's the pin out. Next one will pop out this uh, safety grip uh, here. Oh, okay, dummy. Hammer needs to be back, safety needs to be up. And she pops out without any problem. There you go. Don't think I damaged anything there. Out comes the hat. So it looks like the spring on the left is up against the disconnector. Spring in the s uh, spring in the center might be up against the disconnector. Spring on the left might be up against the trigger bar. And the spring on the right is probably for the it is. Looks like it's for the the grip safety. Okay, and this bottom one here. The hammer. Okay, so now we'll just punch out the uh, the pin for the for the hammer. Nope, doesn't even need to be punched, just pushed out. There we go. Okay, out comes the hammer. It doesn't look bad actually, not bad at all. Alrighty. We'll take off main spring housing cap. There's the main spring. And it goes that way, coming back in. Okay, so now we just got the, uh, I guess it's the sear pin here to come out. No energy and no effort on that. There we go. And from there, be able to take out the sear and the disconnector. What am I missing? There we go. And disconnectors. There we go. So they are that way. Well. Wow. 
Yeah, polished up some items here. Uh, tried to polish anywhere that I thought there'd be metal to metal contacts. So the sides, uh, just using red rouge on a buffer wheel. So the uh, sides of the uh, trigger band here, trigger bow, which the back where it rides on the uh, disconnector. Polish that up. And then there's the back of the disconnector there. It rides against the trigger bow. And the back side here it rides against the spring. Just polish that up. And the uh, sear, polish the sides mostly. Just uh, smoother. I wasn't going to worry about those gouges there. And I just touched the edge here with the. Uh, say with a red rouge so it shouldn't have changed any angles just took the buff off the end there that's the focus there and then the sides of the hammer on both sides buffed her up there touched just a little bit where the uh, sear engages there but uh, didn't really work on that, just just touched it. Anyway, shouldn't hopefully that didn't uh, affect that. I doubt it did. So now we'll put it back together and uh, a little bit of oil and see if it, uh, it's nice and smooth. First, we'll put the trigger in. Angle down. Does that make sense? Oops, wrong way. Here we go. There, that's right. Matches the angle on the inside there. Nice and shiny. Okay, so the next thing we put in is the sear disconnector. Up through the hole in the top. Take a pinch from, punch from the back side and try and play with it to at least get it in the uh, sear first. There, it's in the sear. Now I just have to get it into the disconnector. There, got the disconnector in. Let me put the pin in on the other side. That goes through the sear, the disconnector, and a little wiggle all the way in. Now you can see the disconnector is held and captured. That's all good. I don't know if it's that visible in there, but... Okay. Next thing I need to do is we'll put the hammer in. Actually, let's put this main spring housing in. I don't know if I need any lube on the main spring. You know what? I'm just going to put a drop on my fingers. I'll just run it over the... I don't want any rust on this thing. A very fine coat. There. Hardly anything there. I'll set it up in here. There's a little notch at the bottom that it rides into very nicely. Okay, we'll take the bottom. Uh, Spring housing. Now, one thing we didn't take apart here is right at the end, it's hard to see, there was a little pin right there that you could push out, and I, that, that's where the hammer spring is. Um, I don't need to take that out today. Okay, so I'll just push that up so it's captured. Okay, next we will put in the hammer. Uh, okay, so there's a little pressure against the sear. Yeah, it's not much there. Just needed a little push to line the hole up. Okay. And I should have put it in the. You see at the bottom here, so I'm just going to back this out a little. 
This is what drops in the holder. There we go. Okay, now. I don't need to put it all the way out. Now, to put the safety in. Oily fingers here, that's enough. Clean. Okay, so the safety in the hammer has to be cocked to create a hole for it to go into. And the safety has to be in the engaged position, so it needs to be up. And the beaver tail here, we're going to put that in at the same time. There's the beaver tail. Okay, so the hammer is in the up position, comes in. There we go. So that's pretty easy. There we go. Okay, no problem there. And let's just check the function of it before we close it up. We'll uh, push down here and I'll just put a pin through it. There's a good force there on it. So you push down here, line these up. Uh, this is, let's drop the hammer first. Safety's off, hammer's down. That means I won't have to push as hard to line it up. Bigger pin through there. There we go. Now we can start the start the proper pin here. Goes back in this way. Okay, so we just got it started. Hammer comes back. Safety on. Doesn't work. Beaver grip on. Doesn't work. Hammer off. No beaver tail. Beaver grip. Doesn't work. Engaged. Just put my finger here so that I catch it. Definitely works. Definitely works. Okay, so fully forward. Action of the side would have, holding the trigger back here, would have push the disconnector flush. Now the disconnector flush, that should hold. Release, disconnector pops up, and now we're in business. Now I can put in the uh, magazine catch. And from this side, pushes through. Okay, you need to push just very slightly on this side to engage the groove. So find the groove. Here's the groove. There we go. Make sure it works. Yep, that's good. Magazine catches in. And grips on. was my first time taking it fully apart like this. I'm sure uh, you noticed my errors here and there. Yeah, a bit of a learning experience for me. I had looked at it online, saw what uh, other people had done, tried to remember it all, but I was kind of going from memory there. So I guess the key ones are hammer has to be back, Safety has to be engaged for the safety to come out. Magazine needs to be pushed slightly, turn counterclockwise for that to come out. So the main ones. And then when you're testing the disconnector, you need to simulate that the slide is cycled to uh, knock the disconnector down. Okay, so the next step here, we'll fill up the barrel here. So the link here needs to be forward, pass through it. Now, let's put the barrel bushing on, I find that uh, definitely slides better. Put the pin in. And I find for assembly, I don't need to attach it, but just uh, slide the spring in.
kind of keeps things lined up. Okay. And I've also found that uh, putting this in uh, upside down, just holding that, it's coming in this way. Has me not sliding everything out, everything falling out. It seems to work pretty nicely that way. It's captured it now. I'll slide it back to the disconnect there. And just have a look through the hole here. You can see whether you're um, you're um, you gotta tip it and I'm gonna tip it and move the barrel just there's the barrel a little forward there. I just get it started. It's got a hold of the barrel now. Okay, make sure the disconnect's there. This is where I find a little screwdriver right on, I don't know if you can see, right on this pin. Just just give it a little push just to start it in flush as I bring the... Uh, yeah. bring the slide stop up. Okay. Definitely don't want the slide back for this step. You want it all the way forward. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to rotate this guy just over the edge of it and then I'll finish it with a screwdriver. Put the cap on, push just over the edge so it captures it. And then, I oh, don't need to finish it with a screwdriver, just finish it by rotating. Okay. Good news, there are no spare parts left over. Function check. Slide stop. Works. Empty gun. Obvious. No reason not to check again, but it is empty. Slide stop down. Safety on. Safety grip squeezed. Hammer does not drop. Safety off. Beaver tail not squeezed. Hammer does not fire. All safeties disengaged. Hammer fires. Okay, cycling, holding the trigger back. Hammer stays back. Release slightly, disconnector, feel it pop up. Recycle. That's a very nice trigger. Oh, there's no creep. Hardly any over travel. It's uh, that is a nice trigger.